His name is Valentino. That's his first name. And Valentino is one of the most famous designers in the world. He's dressed fashion icons such as Jackie Onassis, Elizabeth Taylor. Julia Roberts wore a vintage Valentino gown. That means an older gown when she won her Oscar. And the list of glamorous women that have worn his one-of-a-kind couture gowns over the years is, is, is just too long to mention. The interesting thing is that he's a private man. Most know very little about him. Until now, there is a new documentary called Valentino, The Last Emperor. And it takes us inside his world of glamour and drama and fashion with a lot of secrets. Take a look. What is the idea of glamour? This is in my uh, blood, you know, what I have to do. Like, I love a beautiful uh, lady, I love a beautiful dog, I love a beautiful piece of furniture. I love beauty. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> what do women want? Yeah, I know, I know, I know what women want. And what do they want? They want to be beautiful. And he helps to make us that way. If you can afford him, please welcome our friend Valentino. I love your show. You are a beautiful lady, but give me the possibility you talk too much to say something. <laughs> yes, we we'll let you talk. Let him okay, talk. Okay, what you want to know? Okay, so, okay. so this is what we want. <laughs> this is what you uh, retired. You were one of still one of the most successful designers in the world, and you, re you designed for 44 years, and then you stopped, I want to get my facts right, in 2007. Why did you retire? Uh, first of all, because I think it was the moment. It was the moment. It was the moment, you yes. The and thank God today, unfortunately, to say it, but with the recession and everything, I did a good job to retire. To leave when you left. Yeah, absolutely. Timing. Yeah. And also, I retired when the room was full of people. That's right. And this, I mean, I think was good. Do, Do people care speaking? about fashion anymore? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. You go to the shows and uh, the, the crowd to see the shows is unbelievable. Lady, they love it, of course, now. Uh, they are not buying anything. Uh, it's, uh, it's very sad. We talked about very, the very recession sad. too. And yeah. um, would you ever want to see a lot of designers do their diffusion lines through, you know, larger stores like a Walmart or Target, etc.? Yeah. Would you ever see? Do you ever see the brand going that way to kind of meet the economy? No, 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 no. no. If I if I remember, <laughs> no, no. But you know, now I think American they are very very good because I have seen the collection and pictures. And they do good things uh, just because of the possibility now, maybe, lady, they want to spend less. Right. And uh, the clothes, they are very nice, and the prices, they are much better. Well, now, you sold your company a few years ago, mm -hmm. and there are Valentino stores all over the world. We have so many, you know, Valentino purses and sunglasses. Do you have a say in anything that, that goes out bearing your name? Yeah, of course. The house continue with my name. I have two assistants of mine. First of all, I have a lady, but unfortunately she didn't work. And uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she wants them to see you. Ah, uh, yes, of course. And now I have two assistants, and they do a very good job. Uh, you know, it's very difficult when you stay for so many years in one house, and I did what I did well or not well, but, you know, I think I did uh, not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so uh, it's very difficult to continue we'll with the bedding. same... Yeah, to continue with the same uh, vein, with the yeah. same uh, joy, with the same uh, touch. Mm. So for a, a larger woman, a woman, say, maybe size... I don't know, 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> That's not that big. Well, but it is big for a lot of the, the houses. They don't design for women with, you 12, know, for 14, women yeah. or women with a derriere. You know, they just don't. Even the sticks. Obama is, is, not a, uh, is not a size zero. Well, it's not a size zero, but she's very tall, and uh, she has this posture, very yes. beautiful. She has this beautiful face, beautiful arms, and beautiful hands. She does. And I think she started to know what's going on now and I think she's very well. 
So for a, wo a, a woman... For a big woman, yeah. I have to tell you, yes. if it would be in high fashion, mm -hmm. of course, it's from the designer right. to give the proportion to this lady that she's a little bigger than the others, right. and to make the clothes, and they suit her, the and they make her the, a beautiful body, mm -hmm. because right. I can do it you very easily. You can make this absolutely, beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I but you are one. very well dressed with your tunic with, for the sneaker and blue jeans. is perfect. I want to get into the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> This is an unusual documentary because it really has, is warts and all. It's called The Last Emperor. And it was shot over two years with cameras just following him and his, his life partner, his business manager, everyone, Giancarlo um, Giacometti, whom you will meet. And you will see his homes, Valentino's homes, fashion pays in Rome, New York City, London, Gestad, 152-foot yacht. And the, the, take a look, guys. Yeah. But uh, you let these cameras go around with you all the time. And, and the dogs, not a bad lifestyle. <laughs> but, uh, but there are parts in it that are not quite so uh, glamorous and wonderful. Here are you with your partner in a second coming up, not Giancarlo. Okay. That means very, very tough. Okay, go ahead. But it's always, you know, we always chat and we always discussing. I, I mean, uh, you think you're too tan? <laughs> no, now I was in Aspen, so I ski a lot and I and I have this color. And, and sometimes I help with. Uh, with the bronzage, you know. <laughs> I must ask you one question because the producers are dying to know what you sleep in. Like, do you ever go into sweatpants? Do you, or are you always so impeccably dressed and so beautifully put together? No, 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 no. People automatically, they know me dressed like this when I am uh, here with you. I am in front yeah. of ladies. But, you know, I am also in blue jeans, a T-shirt, uh, uh -huh. many, many yeah, times of my life. you never have ripped uh, underwear, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, men mostly, they always have something ripped now that you and I have known each other, but now that you have met my pals, and we, we, we're fun and loving, right? Mm. Can we all come on the yacht? Absolutely. I invite all of you. There we I just are. want to mow the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I give you, if you don't want to be in bathing suit, I give you a beautiful kaftan. Very, very long Thank kaftan. You. Cover everything. Okay? Cover everything. That's a great pleasure. We love a one of us. And when that documentary comes, it's called The Last Emperor, and it opens in New York today in select cities March 27th, and it is great fun. It is a world that most of us never see. It's really and good. It, yeah, it really was fun. Oh, yeah. We thank you. you we give our best to John Thank you so much. We'll be right back.